Yo, 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 what is going on, my beautiful brothers and sisters, fellow radiators of love? My name is Jamal Pope, aka J Phoenix, and this is going to be your daily tarot card reading for Saturday, June 29th, 2024. Thank you so much for joining me in this video. Hopefully, you guys are having a wonderful start to your weekend. Let's go ahead and hop into it to see what we have going on today. Well, I have the Queen of Cups upright, the Queen of Cups all right. This is going to be a good day to try and maintain um, our head emotionally. I'm trying not to let our emotions get really the best of us today, especially considering the fact that we do have Saturn, right? We do have Saturn that is going to be retrograding in Pisces today is station. It will be retrograding in Pisces. So yeah, there's definitely this element here where from an emotional standpoint, we just want to make sure that we're not going off the deep end. But things are going to start to be more revealed right now. The veil is starting to come down. Neptune is also slowing down. So that'll be retrograding here soon. Things are start are going to start becoming a lot more clear emotionally. Things are going to start become a lot more clear on the world stage. And all of the different events that we're seeing. The movie of life that we are witnessing and watching right now. That we are a part of. A lot of things are about to become clear. I do also have the Prince of Swords in the reverse. I've gotten this card a couple times this week. Prince of Swords or the Knight of Swords. I This is a time where we can't move fast. Things are kind of slowing down. You know, this is very much, this gives very much so Saturn and Pisces vibes. Things are kind of slowing down. We can't just rush right into things right now. Try to rush right into understanding everything or at least, at the very least, rush into some sort of magnanimous solution to all the world's problems right now. It's not going to happen. It's about taking it one step at a time, day by day. I think a lot of this also has to do with the fact that we do have Mercury today, which will be in sextile to Uranus. Mercury, of course, in Cancer, communicating more from that place of emotion and, and comfort, wanting to find that the sextile over to Uranus, can definitely do, you know, Uranus and Taurus is a very erratic, random kind of energy, especially in Taurus where, you know, that that deals with the earth, that deals with like random crazy weather, that deals with, you know, volcanoes, that deals with earthquakes, uh, Uranus and Taurus, but the Mercury is sextiling it, yeah, we definitely want to try and find the comfort Amongst the chaos, I think that's part of the thing here, is I trying to find comfort amongst the chaos and trying to see even the beauty and how things sometimes get shaken up. Uranus and Taurus also deals a lot with like geopolitical alliances and how people relate to each other and their sense of worth and sense of value, you know. So, yeah, I think when it comes to that, we have to learn how to find comfort within and try to understand from a mercurial standpoint, you know, how things are shifting, how things are moving about. That's why, like I said, this is not really a time to rush right into things. Remember, this is the fastest card in the deck. We have to maintain a level head, especially when it comes to making decisions. This is a queen, so they have the power to make decisions that's going to affect many people. I'm going to round that out with the card of judgment. The card of judgment, this definitely <laughs> does bring, bring us some major arcana energy here. Definitely a call to arms, a call to action. This can be, you know, especially with that Saturn retrograde, I think there's going to be some type of message that's coming through from spirit that is really going to, you know, challenge you to maintain that level head, to not rush right into things, but will definitely be a bit of an eye opener as far as, okay, this is the situation. I think that's really what it comes down to. This is not, it's not like we're all being like judged by God, but this is going to be more so now that the veil is coming down, everybody can kind of see where they are, who's who, who's playing what character, who's playing what role. You're going to start to see this over the next week, the veil becoming thinner and thinner and thinner. And people are going to start to see who are the actors, who's doing what, who, who like where are you and stuff you'll be looking at it's like oh wow this is where i am okay this is actually really good or you'll be like oh man i'm not necessarily in the best position you know so this you're going to start to really start to see this come about more and more but it really does start today with that saturn retrograde now as far as the oracle card goes i do have scorpio I do have scorpio we have no planets in scorpio right now 
but I think this really is going to come down to, you know, to try to, you know, be a little bit more Scorpionic in the sense that, you know, you know, Scorpio is about desires, of course, right? But Scorpio also has this, you know, sort of insatiable appetite to uncover things. It's all about uncovering the mysteries in our life. And there's also an aspect of just the willpower that Scorpio has, especially an emotional willpower as well to understand oneself, you know, to know about the deeper aspects of this reality. We could also, of course, look at the ruler of Scorpio, Pluto, which is still in Aquarius. So I'm probably going to start to just uncover a lot more things when it comes to interpersonal relationships with that Aquarius energy, especially when it comes to larger groups of people, as well as technology and the future, just in general. So the Scorpio card, like I said, if anything, you know, integrate more of those positive aspects of the Scorpio, the willpower, you know, this sort of thirst for knowledge and stuff like that to uncover different things, but also know that you're not going to uncover necessarily everything today. So it's like they're going to be, there's a, there may be an element of us wanting to push the boundaries a bit today, but know what boundaries you can push. You know, with Saturn going retrograde and turning offline, people are definitely going to be pushing their boundaries more, but you'll learn pretty quickly, you know, what boundaries you can push and what boundaries you really can't push because the judgment card, those repercussions, will come in a lot swifter now that Saturn is going to be in retrograde for the next little bit. That's going to do it for your daily tarot card reading for this Saturday, June 29th. I trust that this message will assist you on your journey today. If you did enjoy this, please like, share, and subscribe. I definitely appreciate it. If you'd like to have a personal reading with me, beloved, you can follow the link in the description below to my website, jphoenix.com. And as always, y'all take care. Stay blessed. Have a wonderful day. I will see you all on the next daily tarot card reading. Peace.